kind of amazing. It's the first film that I ever produced. Um, and to be here after all these years, you know, we now have our fifth Mission Impossible. Um, I love making these movies. I originally, you know, I. I started producing just out of a love of cinema, and I want to learn as much as I can about movies, and particularly with these kind of films, because it's not just action, it's not just suspense. You have a lot of intrigue. Uh, you know, I love the spy genre. I love the theme music, and they're just, they're a wonderful challenge uh, to make and to kind of invite filmmakers and artists to come in and create this kind of world and do very practical kind of action. It's really challenging and it's fun seeing an audience. You know, I, I want to entertain an audience. That's, that's what I want to do in whatever kind of film that I'm making. And, and I'm just happy that audiences find these films entertaining, uh, as entertaining as, as I do. And so I really enjoy making them. I think she's an incredibly uh, powerful actress, Rebecca Ferguson. Incredibly charismatic exudes uh, an elegance and an intelligent. She's an amazing athlete, and she herself didn't realize. How, you know, I kept, well, as we were working with her, I kept telling her, I said, look, you're really talented. Her hand-eye coordination, uh, the way she moves, is very powerful and, and elegant. And so I feel, and I know Chris feels the same way, I feel fortunate that, that, that we found her and that, uh, that she's in the movie. But I think her character is, mysterious and delightful and powerful. Uh, and I think, as I do, you know, when, when I watch her, and I think an audience, you know, that we, when we screen it for audiences, they're very much leaning forward and very uh, captivated by her. On the morning of, it was when we were going out to do it. You know, I did my warm up because I got a stretch also because I'm wearing a harness, but I know it's also a performance. I have to act. But then when I got on the side, I was very excited and the engine started. We were taxiing and I remember uh, we're at the end of the runway and I'm, I'm hanging onto this thing. He's pushing that throttle forward and we are hammering down that runway and I'm like, holy <laughs> It was it, the force of it. That wind, I mean, it's, you see, I'm trying, desperately to keep my feet on the side of that, uh, you know, onto the f flooring there. And I'm hanging onto the side of that, my, my grip on the side, and it's, it's freezing cold at this point, even before we're up at altitude. And, you, you know, you lose about three degrees per thousand feet. And, uh, and that feeling, man, it just, the airplane left the ground, and I couldn't hold my feet on the side on that airplane anymore. And, Suddenly I do feel that force of my body's going up against the side of that fuselage. And we did it, I guess I did it eight times and we changed lens and every time they were like, let's, let's stop it. I, but I wanted to make sure that we had that shot. And that's, it's pretty exhilarating actually. <laughs>